These guys will be like, oh, hey, what's up? Oh, you're 12? Can you send me pics of your By the way, my name is Jonathan, Jonathan Smith 1974 at gmail.com. Like, bro, what the f are you doing? It's like, oh, my profile picture? Oh, that's me next to my entire family with my grandma and a copy of my social security card in the background. Like, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, that's my house. Yes. Yeah. That is me in the underage yes. video that I sent to a minor. Yes, that, that is me. Sense. Yes. Deputy District Attorney Jalen Wang said Fleur sought out young girls, offered them money in order to coax them into meeting with him and encouraged the girls to arrange for their other young friends to meet him. Holy sh... What's going on? I've never seen this before. Have you guys all seen this video? Am I the only one? Thank you very much. Hi, Jalen. I'm Detective Bratton. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hi. So, um, I'm a detective with the Family Protection Unit with the City of Chula Vista Police Department. Ooh. I work alongside Detective Kale here. We're actually um, doing an investigation on some allegations that we have to obviously look into. We're a law enforcement yeah. officer, so you know that we look into everything um, equally. I want to make sure, though, before we get started, that mm -hmm. you're aware um, that this is a voluntary interview, and so... Um, I just want to make sure that you're aware of all of those yeah. things. And so I'm going to just have you. No problem. This is one of those forms that they give everybody. <laughs> so it doesn't really fit. So if I just happen to cross out as I'm going along. Okay. Sorry about that. So, um, so it's no like, problem. Coming voluntarily. We good. Um, two, and then we'll go ahead and just put the admin office. Louder. Right. Um, oh, and of course, you know about body burn. So yeah, yeah this is my body worn. Of course, it audio and video records everything. And there's also an audio Can't record me. Just in case. Um, to share your side of the story with us, of course, in regards to the, um, the report that we're investigating. Okay. You're not under arrest and you are not being detained. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. I'll have you go ahead and write it in. And you can initial or say yes. Just initial. Okay. Yeah. And if you would just go ahead and read the next one. Nays Garden. Oh, that's the Rumble guy. I tweeted four videos at you about Nazis in Ukraine. Oh, I thought you were joking, but you're serious. Wait, are you the audio guy? I hope you enjoy the Jimmy Dore one the most, <laughs> bro. We're on. We are very, very, very differently politically. Okay. Wait, no. Oh, everybody said this was the Rumble guy yesterday. I banned him for an hour and then I unbanned him and then he tier five. All right. So just so, just for record's sake, I'm going to go ahead and read what you did initial. Um, so you understand that you're not under arrest and you are not being detained. Um, you understand that you're free to leave at any time. There will not be any locked doors keeping you from leaving. As you notice, that one doesn't have a, a lock behind you. Yeah. Um, you <laughs> can choose what questions you want to answer. Jesus. Um, and you can choose to leave or let us know, and we will assist you with That's the exit. Good. Although you're probably going to be the one assisting me, because I don't know my way around here. Okay. Um, so you understand, like, if you, as far as, like, leaving, you have access points and you know how to leave or yeah, where to go. Yeah, Okay. Very cool. Are you comfortable? Do you want yeah, to take off I'm your good. duty belt? No, I'm good. I'm okay, because I understand that you know, the duty belt gets pretty annoying pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take it off at any point, you no, let I'm me know. Um, so, of course, I've done my research and investigations and everything, so I've learned a little bit about you, but I'd like mm -hmm. to learn a little bit more, but yeah. that's okay. Um, I found that you went to Santana High School? I did, yes. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about your upbringing? Yeah, so um, grew up in Santana, Santee, uh, Santana High School. Uh, played sports, uh, football, baseball. Went to Grossmont College for a little bit, played baseball there. Um, and I got a job here. Worked at Dick's Sporting Goods before this, um, so this is my second job. Okay. Started working with this department for coming up on five years now. Okay. So baseball seemed pretty important to you back yeah, in high school. Fine, yeah. um, what position? Uh, pitcher. Cool. How's your arm holding up? I mean, soreness every once in a while, but I haven't thrown it for a while. So. Yeah, no, it still kills me. Um, I played softball. Okay, nice. So I was, yeah, um, third, short, center, and pitcher. Here in San Diego? Yeah, down um, uh, Hilltop, Anita Valley. He should be like, okay. that's not a real sport. Um, but I know, like, back when, I don't know if it was the same for you, they had no idea, like, about icing and massaging. And uh, yeah, I knew about icing stuff. Yeah. I did not, so I am paying the price <laughs> for it. Again, so. Yes, and it's brutal, though. I tell you, I'm paying for it still. But, so did you ever play any other Wait, is she just a random, or is she, like, a cop cop? Because if she... If she's like a cop cock, cock cop. <laughs> oh, dick police cock cop, you know? Um, 
If she's a cop, cop, cop. If she's if this is like part of an interrogation, she's doing a really good job right now at the uh, building the positive rapport. Sports in high school? High school, no, just uh, football and baseball. Football, baseball. Yeah. Cool. Um, anything else in school that you enjoyed doing? Children. Hanging out with friends, you know, just typical high school stuff. I mean, yeah. it's pretty sheltered from my mom, so okay. I don't get out much, but yeah, just the sports and stuff. Okay, how come you say you're. Oh. Holy sh. Keeping me squared away, keeping me in line. Very cool. Oh. Only Tier Forest can hear this, by the way. This is a new feature I'm trying out. Only Tier Forest get access to this part of the audio. And have you always worked corrections? Uh, yeah, I attempted to go out to the patrol, went to the academy. Things didn't work out there, so I came back here. Did you have fun at the academy while you were oh, there? Oh yeah, I enjoy it. It's good. I mean, camaraderie and stuff like that, so. It's... Okay. Um, married? How many kids? Oh yeah, uh, married. Recently got married this last year in September. Okay. Um, we have a kid due on the way in August. Oh. <laughs> kid? Okay. You mean a future Boy, victim? What? Very nice. Unfortunately. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. What are you, like... Hoping for oh, no, I said looking forward to it. Oh, looking yeah. forward. I thought yeah. you said, unfortunately. I'm no, like, oh, no, no, no. No, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, that's cool. Um, and your wife, how long have you known her? Uh, actually, preschool. Um, yeah, we met in preschool, went separate ways. Um, met her back in high school. Things like I was trying to date her, but she was playing, playing it hard to get again. Yeah. Um, then college came around, tried again, and actually ran into her in PV like, about three years ago. Okay. And then, yeah, we reconnected then. Got I'm married, had a family, bought a house. It's nice, you don't hear stories that go that far back. <laughs> um, so you guys got married just last year, already expecting baby number one. Yeah. Are you still living in Santee? Yeah. Okay, where are you living at? Um, right across from West Hills, new community, Western community. Okay. So you're gonna have your kid go to West Hills? Probably, yeah, over Santee. Are they yeah. viral, are they uh, um, rivals? Rivals? Yeah. Okay. It's West gonna Hills be hard. Enough, so. Yeah, it's gonna be hard combating, uh, you know, everybody else and doing that. Um, so, do you do anything else as far as for fun? Any? Uh, do you do sports still? Uh, I'll do softball with the guys here at work and stuff like that. Other than that, mountain bike once in a while. Cool. How about video games, computers, anything like that? Do you ever? Yeah, I'll play video games every once in a while and stuff like that. But not too often. Watch not big on the video games. <laughs> Cool. Um, and I hear your schedule recently changed. How do you feel about oh, the schedule it's change? Yeah. Seven, twelve and a half in a row. Kills you. Seven off is nice, but it flies by, so. Yeah, and then those seven drag yeah. once you're here. So at least you're on your last day today, yeah. right? Uh, we communicated with some of uh, the people who were like, hey, when does he work? Um, and um, thank you for meeting with us here. Yeah. Um, we obviously, given COVID, there's not a lot Is he of using the low risk voice? Oh, true. Um, you know, that's one comfortable, gives us enough space, and, you know, makes you feel like, you know, that you're not, you know, at your home or mm -hmm. randomly out in the middle of nowhere. So um, I know RPD is like refusing to let anybody in the doors. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. can understand. Um, so um, how about social media? Are you active on social media at all? Uh, Facebook. And Instagram. Um, had Snapchat back in the day, got rid of that with my wife. We got caught in the academy with, with her and stuff, some stuff. But, Ooh. Uh, can you tell me about that? Or? Um, uh oh. I mean, it was with another recruit in the academy. But, okay. So you're um, communicating with another recruit? I was back in, I stopped. Everything got cut off. Mm -hmm. uh, got rid of. Uh oh. I mean, I didn't delete the Snapchat, I just got delete the app. So okay. I haven't used it for like, I don't know, two, a year and a half now. Okay. Uh, so on Facebook, just because I like to jot down everybody's social media when I can, um, what's your Facebook login? Like your um, username? Uh, I think just under Jalen Fleer. It's your name? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and then you said Instagram? Sorry? Instagram, yeah. Okay. What's your Instagram username? Uh, I think. Care for us, don't type his name and in chat. You said you got rid of Snapchat, but when you did have it, what was it? Um. Just Jalen Fleer. Jalen Fleer? Yeah. Why didn't they censor that out? The fuck? Okay. So the one that you had there, and has that so that account since been deleted or just deactivated that one, the... Yeah, that's, just delete the app. I think, it's, I think it's still there. Okay. And I know when it comes to um, Facebook, you connect it to an email address. Do you know yep. what email address is connected to it? And then your Instagram account, what, same email? I think so, yeah. Okay. And I know sometimes with Snapchat, they'll have you either sign up with a phone number or an email. 
I believe it's my phone number. It's like the most annoying censoring they could have possibly chosen. Okay. <laughs> Why? Right. So, um, I don't know, do you have any questions for me before we kind of... Can I ask what this is about? Yeah, so we're looking into some allegations that were made. We're kind of, it, it started with a Crime Stopper report, so we're just kind of okay. going from there. Um, uh, we did receive um, a picture um, that, um, you know, when we looked into it, it looks similar to you. So I don't know yeah. if you can take a look at the picture and just tell me if you've seen this. Oh, God, it's going to be a throbbing cut. Oh, I have like 15 million things. Oh, there. no. Okay. So this picture right here. Yeah, that's definitely me with the gross one. Okay, so um, this picture right here. How old were you when it was taken? Uh, I don't know, tw 20. 20? <laughs> Have you ever used this picture on any social media site? Um, I think it was Snapchat back in the day, yeah. Okay. Right. I don't recognize that, Have you ever shared this man. picture with anybody on Snapchat? Um, yeah, probably my wife, to be honest. Um, I mean, obviously I talked to other girls back in the day, too, but I can't remember. Okay. Um, if you had to guesstimate how many times you may have shared the photo, how many times? That one, maybe just a couple times, once or twice. Okay, so definitely to your wife. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've used that photo for your wife, and you were about 20 years old in the photo. You and? did share it on Snapchat, um, and then maybe some other girls you were talking to? I mean, yeah, this was a long time ago, so I don't really remember who it was. Okay. Um, have you ever posted it as, like, your profile photo, or no, that one, ever no. posted it on Instagram? Oh, I forgot to ask you, are your accounts, is your Instagram and your Facebook, are they private? They are. Okay. And I know Snapchat is all private, right? I mean, you have to add somebody. Yeah, I believe I had to, yeah. You can't just... Request a friend. Yeah, you can't just be anyone. So that one's at least a little bit better where it's like, you have to actively search for somebody, right? Um, okay, so you in the photo, um, and is that a gross font? Is that a gross font? Yeah, it's gross font. Okay, cool. That makes it very easy. Um, so, as far as like um, the picture, so um, this photo came up in connection with some allegations um, about you communicating with a younger female on Snapchat. What? Have you ever communicated with any younger females that, female? Uh, we we have already recognized that yes, you have with yeah, your wife, recruit so. from the from the um, the back uh, from the past. Is there anyone else you communicate with on Snapchat? I mean, back then. No, just close friends and coworkers and stuff like that. Anyone recently? Nah, nah, not me. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Um, That's hella illegal. Is there a reason why your phone number and email might be linked to a different Snapchat account? No, no, never had that. Just the Jalen Clear one. Okay, so that phone number and email wouldn't be attached to no. any other account. Okay. Right. And um. Your schedule. I know that um, you work every seven days on and seven days off. What is your wife's schedule? Uh, she's every Friday, Saturday off on um, day shift. So typical nine to nine to five. Okay, so she works nine to five, and you work like the complete opposite schedule. Depends. Every three months, we rotate days and nights. Okay. And how long have you been? On <laughs> this is this is what I mean. Like when I'm doing some weird shit, not child. Uh, but when I'm like trying to hide my ID, if I'm like logging into a website or whatever that I don't trust, I'm thinking like, I need a VPN, I need to go to McDonald's Wi-Fi, I need like a virtual machine on my computer. These guys will be like, oh, hey, what's up? Oh, you're 12? Can you send me pics of your By the way, my name is Jonathan, Jonathan Smith 1974 at gmail.com. Like, bro, what the f*** are you doing? It's like, oh, my profile picture? Oh, that's me next to my entire family with my grandma and a copy of my social security card in the background. I'm like, bro. On nights now. Nights now, probably, probably a little over a month now. A month and a half. Okay. All right. Can I ask, is this something I might, I should have lawyers on? <laughs> so right now, and I'll go over the behavior with you. you know, we and also, it's so crazy how much cops don't know anything about criminal procedure sometimes. Why would you ask that question? Should I have a lawyer? Why would you ask that question? You know a cop, well, my guess would be is that a cop is never gonna tell you, you need a lawyer. The cop is gonna say, listen, you don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. If you wanna leave, you can leave. You're not required to say any answer questions. If you wanna get a lawyer or not, that's up to you. But I'm just asking questions. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I just wanna see what you're up to, you know? 
We're investigating allegations that okay. were made that you were communicating with a younger female on Snapchat and potentially some material might have been shared. Okay. Um, some photos, some images, stuff like that. So we, of course, want to be able to hear what happened from your side, if that, in fact, did occur or yeah. if it didn't occur. We want to always Everyone that I talked to, I mean, it was about my age, I remember. Okay. Uh, so who have you talked to? <laughs> he just um, gave, I mean, this was do you see how good she was at giving the non-answer there, right? Yeah, we're just here to investigate some things. We're just checking out what's going on. We just wanted to ask you some questions to see, you know, if you didn't do anything, you know, it's good for us to just get that side of the right? And then, <laughs> to be fair, this internal investigation is a bit different from being interviewed by other officers. This does not feel like internal investigation to me. Uh, this feels like part of like criminal procedure to me. It's not like, were you flirting with an employee? It's like, are you sending pictures of your throbbing cock to a fucking minor? <laughs> That's not, that doesn't feel like internal investigation to me. Um, is this an internal investigation? I'm not sure, but. Back then when I had, I had Tinder, so I had to meet some people on Tinder and stuff. Everyone should have been older than that to know because Tinder's 18 and up. Okay. Um, did you ever meet up with anyone that you met on Tinder? On Tinder? My ex-girlfriend, yeah. And okay. we dated for like three years. Okay, what's your ex-girlfriend's name? Tinder, on but Tinder, you yeah. dated for three yeah. years in after college. Tinder? So I met her on Tinder in college when I was playing baseball and dated, we dated for about three years. Well, you clearly don't know the concept of Tinder. <laughs> I was on Tinder long, yeah. Okay, sure. so yeah. Um, how old were you then when you dated her? I'm so curious what this woman's job is. She, they, I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> I already know what her job is. This woman is, she's some sort of detective or investigator. She absolutely has to be. She's like, she's drifting in and out of like, you played softball? Oh my God, that's so cool. Um, we're trying to see if you sent pictures of your dick to a minor. <laughs> um, it's so funny the way you use Tinder, like you're with your girlfriend now, like that's so cute. Like she's going like in and out. Oh, she said at the start she's a detective. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I don't remember saying it, gotcha. Okay, makes sense. She's very, very, very good at like the building the friendly rapport. Um, were you sending child porn? Uh, building friendly rapport, like that back and forth is very, very, very good. Yeah. And how old was she? Same age. She Same was age. My age. Yeah. Okay. Like these questions don't matter, right? This is the like, it's the, the all the JCS guys say, there's like a tactic for this. For it's like, how old are you? What was your ex? Oh, tell me about it. Was she cool? Did you like this? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Like it gets you comfortable. Like, okay, we're having a conversation. Can answer questions? And then there'll be like a confrontational question. It's like, um, is there a chance you might have communicated with somebody underage? Or like, you've already said you have blah, blah, blah. She used that technique earlier too. She didn't ask, have you ever talked with somebody underage? She talked past it. She's like, you already have talked to somebody younger, right? That was a cop. We know that, right? Moving on. There's like a ton of little like buried. Um, so yes, on Tinder, when you were on Tinder, and forgive me, I'm not very well versed on Tinder. Do you have a username there as well? Uh, sure, I can't remember. It might've just been Jalen or Jay. Jalen or something like that. Okay. Jalen? So really? J-A-Y? Yeah, by Jalen, to be honest, J-A-Y again. Do you ever go by Jay? Fucking Jalen. Friends call me Jay, once in a while. All right. Okay, so Tinder, Snapchat, um, Instagram, Facebook, any other social media sites that you've delved into or used? How else can I incriminate myself? Hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so, um, of course, we've spoken to, you know, obviously, the other parties involved and kind of gotten some of the information. Um, and so the reason why this particular photo was kind of brought up is because this photo was- How well would you hold up in a conversation with this? I don't think I can do it. These people have so much practice like doing exactly these types of interrogations. They're gonna be able to seamlessly drift from tactic to tactic while you're gonna be trying to like keep a lie straight in your head while not falling into certain psychological traps, all while maintaining you're cool because you're guilty of a crime that they're trying to figure out if you've done or not, right? I think it'd be incredible. I'm sure it's beatable, but you need practice doing it, right? Whether or not you can beat a particular thing is always gonna come down to how much you can practice against. So maybe if you had friends practice interrogating you or whatever, Destiny, shouldn't it be super obvious that tactics are being used. Um, kind of. 
something, here's something that's, uh, yeah, I would just refuse to talk and say, lawyer, uh, here's something you should always keep in mind. Psychological tactics oftentimes can work on a person, even if you know they're like employing tactics, right? So like, for instance, like um, asking people questions about themselves to build rapport and to make them feel confident talking to you and have a good conversation, that's like a quote unquote conversational tactic. But if somebody still uses that on me, even if I'm aware of it, I still feel good. It's like, oh, cool, you're asking questions about me. Yeah, I'll answer, right? Like, even if you're aware of the tactics, they can still be effective, you know? Is sent uh, to this female, which is why I wonder if this photo would be in anyone else's hands. I mean, first one being younger, no, it wasn't anyone I sent younger. Um, so this photo was sent within the last three weeks. Have you sent this no, photo? Definitely not. Not to anyone within no. the last three weeks. Okay, and you've only shared it with a select few people. Yeah, it was. I mean, that's a long time ago, so. Okay, so I want to make sure to get all the people you have shared it with, just to make sure they wouldn't try to send it. Yeah, no, I mean. I also, if I had to guess here, my guess is, is that like, um, there's a tactic of like, what do they call it? Like getting your foot in the door. Let's say that I think that you murdered John at his house on Friday night. I'm not gonna ask you if you murdered John at his house on Friday night. I'm just gonna try really hard to get you in there, right? So Friday, you guys talked about going to John's, right? Like earlier in the day, maybe you guys visit, right? You're just trying to get them over there, right? This constant asking of like, I don't think she thinks, she probably knows that the picture came from his account. She's just trying to get him to talk around it more, to admit that like, well, could you send it blah, 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 is there anyone, right? Just to like get him, to get him like closer to tying himself to this image and everything, right? I know there's like screenshots and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that one being screenshotted mm -hmm. on Snapchat. Oh. Yeah, because Snapchat lets you know when you're screenshotting. Yeah, he'll tell you. So I, that was a long time ago, so I don't know. Okay, so um, you don't know who I might be able to connect with this photo as far as On that I... one? No, oh, that was a long time ago. You said you've only shared it a couple times? Yeah, I mean, some that just it's just a basic photo. I don't want to save that one or anything like okay. that. So it was either your wife or whoever the other person you might have shared it with that might have shared the photo again? Like, the, I don't think the detective thinks this photo's been shared. She knows it gave him, right? My question is... I don't know why do that. It's yeah. Been together for so long. Well, so you dated this girl for three years, and when you were 20, that's 23, you kindled your relationship with your wife about three years ago? Like, literally, like, a, yeah, it was about a month apart from my ex. So, one. so you've wife. been with her for three years, yeah. so you like the long term relationships. I've always been in the long term. Three yeah. to three. <laughs> All right. Um, so, you know, this, like I said, this photo was um, sent to this person, so they were in possession of it, and we can't find any connection or reason why this photo would end up with this particular person if it wasn't shared by someone you may know or yourself. I agree, yeah. I, my wife wouldn't have done it, so I don't want no more she would share that. So. See, like, this might be a part. Now, it feels weird because you're, you're kind of giving advice to, like, a potential pedophile on how to beat charges. But, like, this might be a part where in court, right, when you're going for a conviction for a criminal matter, you have to convict somebody beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, talking to a jury, could you instill some reasonable doubt that somebody else might have shared that picture, that maybe he sent this to somebody else and maybe somebody else shared that picture? Maybe. That could be a strategy that the defense could use, but they can't now because this guy clearly stated in interrogation that, no, I didn't send that picture to anybody. No shot, not to my, nobody would have done that. If it came from any kind, it came from me. So he's like hardcore tied himself to this particular picture now. And it's like, yeah, now that, that defense is completely fucked, right? So now it would have to be something different. Long time ago. My ex, like, it was a bad breakup with my ex, but she wouldn't say something like that either. Like he's just, he's just further like digging himself. Average Minecraft girl, Bella. Should have asked Reddit. True. I, don't know. I mean, I met girls on Tinder and stuff back in the day. Yeah, some safe stuff, but I don't know who would save a picture like that. I mean, even nude, maybe yeah, I'm safe. Not that one. Jesus. And there's nothing wrong with this photo, right? It's just No, you. I agree. I just, I don't know how it would get in the hands of a younger person. No. Okay. There were also some conversations that were exchanged between you and this person. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't talk to anybody else. Do you say so? Not on Snapchat? No. Not recently? Not recently, no. Now, you said all of your social media accounts are private, right? Yeah. 
And I know you're a law enforcement officer, so I know that you've also taken the time to make your plates confidential. I mean, back in the day, yeah, yeah. I don't think my current ones are. Um, I mean, obviously, I ran your plates. Okay. <laughs> so you're okay. still driving the Ford Fusion? Yeah. And it's is it black or gray? It's gray. Okay. And you got tinted windows on it still? Yeah. And so, um, uh, you know, when it comes to... Like, here... So keep in mind, when they came in initially, it was just kind of like a chat to see what's going on or whatever, right? Now, I don't know if he's putting this together in his head. He's a fucking cop, so you'd expect him to. But he should be putting it... Okay. She's already like ran my plates, checked my car, knows I have tinted windows. Like this lady's already dug a lot into your past, okay? She probably knows a lot about you. This is not just a random interview about allegations. She's dug into your shit a lot. <laughs> but I don't even think he's like registering this right now, you know? The photo, I really kind of just, I really want to understand why this person would be in possession of the photo. But the only one who could really help me with that is you. Yeah, I, I can tell you that, I don't know. Okay. Uh, well, along with the photo, came some additional information about your personal life. Okay. Um, and based on some of the information you shared with me today, it seems to add up. Okay. Um, so is there any reason why the person would say they're you, they're you and share your information? It sounds like it'd be someone that knows me then, obviously. Uh, I don't know who, I don't have any enemies that would be doing something like that. I got enemies. Can I ask what information was shared? What they... They know. Um, well, um, we know that you're a baseball player. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people know that. Yeah, oh. so that information was kind of shared. Okay. Um, your work schedule. Hmm. It's been five years that I've worked here. Specifically the transition to seven days on, seven days off. Really? Oof. Oof. Well, and? I haven't shared anything like that recently. So I couldn't tell you who that would be. So let's take it back a little bit. Uh, you said you played football in high school, right? Uh oh, looks okay. Look, do you see how like uncomfortable that silence was? She let it sit for a moment. Maybe he's realized he's fucked, but then she's like backing up. But it's like, let's talk about you playing football. And now we're going back to like probably I imagine an easy string of questions where he can become more comfortable and like kind of like chat about his past again, so he feels like a little bit more at ease. Back a little bit. Uh, you said you played football in high school, right? Um, what position did you play? I was a defensive end. Defensive end. Um, did you have the same jersey the whole time you played? Uh, my last two years were, yeah, 82 and then first one, first two years changed up. Um, and what year did you graduate? Uh, 2011. Okay. So, I know as an athlete, um, you know, sometimes when I would do my usernames and stuff, I would kind of use a combination of my things that I know about myself, right? Mm -hmm. So that way I wouldn't forget it. So this particular picture came from uh -oh. an account. Sports account. With this username. Another confrontation. J178211. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I recognize that your jersey name in college was, or was 17. Yes, it was. And then Bro, she knows your college jersey. It's time to lawyer up, bro. This woman's a fucking Terminator. Get the fuck out of here, bro. What are you doing? 82. And it was 11. In 2011. I never had 11. No, as far as you graduated in 2011. I did, yeah. And it goes by Jay. And it is a Snapchat account that has some links to you. Okay. Okay. Jay, I'll be very honest. I just, I want to know the truth. Yeah. Ooh. No, I never even heard of that account. Okay. Have you ever shared any images? Oh, big confrontation with a minor. Penis with anyone. Oh, okay. okay. And how many times would you say you've done that? A lot. <laughs> Can you kind of explain that a little bit more to me? I mean, my wife, my ex-girlfriend, mm -hmm. talking to day Tinder and stuff, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you know what Tinder is. Um, mm -hmm. High school. Yeah, junior high. Did you ever share any videos of you having sex with anyone? With anyone? No. I've always had personal videos of me and my wife. That was it. Okay. And my ex actually had one, but. What does your ex look like? 
Um, so you've never shared any videos? No, I have not, no. Just still shots? Yeah. Can you, I know this is kind of personal, <laughs> so let me know if you're <laughs> uncomfortable at all. Can you tell me what some of those images look like? Um, video I had. Uh, I used toys. <sighs> it's awkward, but yeah, I used toys on my wife and stuff. Okay. Can you explain the toys? Oh, man. She's your wife, right? Yeah. I mean, it's your wife. It's intimate. We probably get this. Yeah. yeah. Um, dildos. A vibrator. That's really it. That's all I had. Okay. Um, you and your wife haven't been in that house too long, right? How, when did you guys move in? Uh, about a year and a half ago. And you guys, how many bedrooms are in the house? Four. Four. Do you guys live with anyone else? Um, do you guys have a master bedroom? We do, yeah. Alright. Um, can you tell me about your master bedroom? It's, um, just a big white room, big king bed. I mean, there's nothing really special to it. Okay. Um, just because it gives me kind of some insight of like, yeah. you know, what your, what yeah. your home life is like. Um, do you guys, you guys still sleep in the same room? That's a good Like, I imagine he's probably describing the setting of the videos too. Like how bad for him to be playing in front of a jury and they're like, oh yeah, and he's here he is describing his room and this is the video of him fucking in his room. Like, holy shit. Like maybe plausible, maybe you're like, oh, our room didn't look like that at that time. Like we remodeled our shit, but he's like, here he goes. He's just fucking laying it all out there. Jesus, why? He's a cop, why would he do this? Marriage. <laughs> I say that because people have been married a long time. Obviously we come into contact with a lot of- Like imagine him saying like, oh yeah, these are the toys we play with. And the videos are like, here she is getting fucked with these exact toys. Like why not just, <laughs> why not just not say anything at all? Them. Um, do you guys have a TV? We do, yeah. Okay. What kind of a TV? Uh, just a Samsung, Samsung TV. Okay. Um, is it like a large room that has like one of those double door entries? Cause I know some of those houses have them. No, no, it's just a single door. It's a single door? Yeah. Okay. Um, any dressers or? Um, yeah, we have one dresser. Can you Actually, we have three, three, two nice stands in the dresser. Jesus. Can you describe the dresser too? Yeah, it's like a, um, tannish brown, I guess. Uh, okay. Is it newer? Somewhat, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Cause you never know, like sometimes when people move in, they have like that chic style look or like mm -hmm. the modern look. Um, so it just helps me to get an idea of what home life is like. Um, it must be hard for you guys though, cause your schedules are complete opposite. Um, yeah, I mean, we still see each other at the end of the day. So, so um, going back, and I'll give you a little bit more information and then I'll let you chat for a little bit. I don't like chatting a lot, so I already feel like I chat too much. So, um, when it comes to the Crime Stopper that we're investigating and the Snapchat account, um, and of course your phone number and everything in connection with it and some of the combinations of numbers and everything there, you can understand why obviously yeah, no, it's, we have a growing it's, concern. It's um, and of course your picture is attached to it, yeah. right? Um, which is even more like either someone's... Can I ask what you said you got new ones too? There were images that were shared, yes, that... Um, Ask them. I'm sure you got them here. Can I ask to see what they are? You want to see the picture? Yeah, so I can get an idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't actually have a clear shot of one. No. Yeah, so I can't. I did not. Okay, I understand. Print yeah. out those I pictures. I a lawyer because this is kind of. This is. Mm -hmm. I'm uncomfortable with this. This is weird. So. Of course, like. Um, you definitely have the ability to do that, and of course, yep. you know, this is completely voluntary. Okay. Um, and so, um, I just don't want to get caught up on something. I'm working this career, I don't want to get caught up on something. I fully understand, yeah. So, um, you can, yes, 100% elect not to speak with us. You are not under arrest at this time. Yeah, I understand. Um, obviously, given the fact that we're here and the fact that we're speaking to you, I know that your bosses are going to want to speak no with you afterwards, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, we'll go ahead and allow them to speak with you after. Okay. Um, obviously, since you don't want to talk to us anymore, my partner here may have... Well, I just wanted to clarify, 
I have a couple of questions that yeah, you don't want to answer, or can I ask you the questions? Because you can choose to answer or not answer. So if I ask you a question, you're like, I don't want to answer that. Yeah. It's, it's always so crazy to me because people always say, and I'm sure there are some cops that fuck around and do dumb shit that they shouldn't be allowed to do. But it's all, but like it's always funny. Like cops are like. Listen, you don't have to answer anything. You can walk the fuck out of here right now. You can walk away, flip me off, and not say a single thing, okay? What do you want to do? I want to talk to you. I want to tell you everything. Like, just leave. Is he about to answer this lady's questions? Tell me that, just so that we understand, just based on uh, the admonishment she read you, okay? Mm -hmm. um, one of my questions was... And now he's just answering. I missed it, but when was Why? the last time that you had Snapchat? Because I know you said you deleted it, but I didn't hear when you deleted it. I never, I just deleted the app. I deleted so, that when okay. I was in the academy. In the academy. So, yeah. When did you go to the academy? It's like a little over a year ago. A year, a year ago, yeah. so in 2019? Yeah, right at the beginning of 2019, January. Okay, and then... Um, Maybe it's got a humiliation years, fetish. Did you go to college at Rosemont? Uh, 2011 to about 2013, okay. 14. And then... I just want to make sure that we all understand each other. When my partner says um, a younger female, yeah. you understand that we mean someone under the age of 18? Yeah, that's obviously why you're here. You, you understand, understand that? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any siblings? I have a younger sister, yes. Yeah, 19. 20, oh. 20, sorry. Oh, okay. And then um, my last question was, when she was asking about the house and the decorations of your house. In any of your rooms in your house, do you have that new, um, that new look where they have like the barn door, um, outer rail type Christ. thing. It's like a country. I don't know what you would call it. I see it a lot on, yeah. on like. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, that's my house. Yes. Yeah. That is me in the underage yes. video that I sent to a minor. Yes, that, that is me. Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> Why? Like, what the fuck are they doing? Any other questions? I mean. Can we still ask you questions, or do you want to stop? No, I want to wait because I'm uncomfortable okay. with this. So okay. Okay. Talk about it. okay. So um, then, you know, I want to thank you for yeah, even no, taking I'm the sure. time to speak with me You're for welcome. this long. I can imagine that obviously um, being confronted with any. You fuck of kids? No, no. I think you just sent pictures to minor. Things can be uncomfortable, so I do appreciate that you've allowed us to speak with you even for this long. Okay. So um, with the next step, um, however, I'm going to go ahead and pull some documents here. Um, for you. So there are a few steps that we're going to be taking after this. Again, you are not being detained by us or anything, but we are acting. Um, Who joined? Hi. Oh, hey, what's up? On behalf of the court moving forward. Okay. Okay. So I will give you a chance to read through this. Um, this is a uh, search warrant that was granted this afternoon by a judge. Okay. Um, the warrant um, does allow us uh, to grab some Electronic DNA device. swabs from you. Oh, okay. okay. Um, DNA well swabs. As, uh, oh, he was kitty fucking. Uh, any mobile devices that might be in your. Oh, yeah. Electronic devices. Uh, yeah. Potentially in your locker. Do you have your personal phone with you here? I do have one. Okay. Yeah. Is it inside? Is it to take possession or search? Sure. It's going to be take possession, I bet. Hold on. Mobile swabs from you. Okay. Um, as well as uh, any mobile devices that might be in your possession um, or potentially in your locker. Do you have your personal phone with you here? I do have one. Okay. I think it's take Is possession. It inside your locker? It's on my purse right now. Okay. So we'll... Need that. If you want to go ahead and hand it to us, we definitely don't need to go in and grab it from you. Okay. Um, but <laughs> but we will. The search warrant does require that we take it from you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, additionally, um, it does allow us to have access to your vehicle. Okay. Um, is your vehicle parked here? It's parked a few blocks away. Okay. Do you remember exactly where you mm -hmm. It's over across from Cap's Pizza over there. Cap's Pizza? Yeah. And is it like in a parking, it's in a parking lot. lot? Okay. Um, is it like one of those paid parking lots? Yeah. Okay, so caps pizza. I'll put notes on that. Um, so the warrant does allow for us. Something that would be kind of funny, but maybe not funny. A little funny. I want. What if he? Imagine this guy's like a mad sexist cop, and he like comes in and is like, "It's fucking women." <laughs> like, like what's gonna happen? Like, yeah, I'll go talk to these dumb bitches. I'm. That's a totally invented in my mind storyline, but. To also process your vehicle. You guys are gonna take my vehicle? No, we're gonna process it here. 
Oh. So that we actually have someone here that's going to help us take some pictures and just go ahead Feels and okay, do needs to be done so we don't have to. Okay. Um, you know, we recognize that warrants are a part of our job, but we don't like to inconvenience people unnecessarily. Yeah. Um, so that's why we actually brought our technician with us here, um, because it is obviously, we obviously want to take your um, DNA with the least effort possible. So mm -hmm. that's why we're using the swabs. Um, and the same goes for, of course, your phone, which you stated on your person. We don't we don't want to put hands on if we don't have to. And you know, obviously, I said, like you said, it's a lot of an officer you're willing Jesus. to buy. Um, with that being said, um, after um, after that, we will also have access um, to your locker. Are your vehicle keys inside your locker? Uh, my vehicle keys are in my vehicle right now. They're in your vehicle? Yeah. So you have a code? I have a code. Okay. Would you mind sharing that code with us? Um, are you compelled to give up the code or does that count as self-incrimination? I have no idea. The fact that they're asking makes it sound like they, that he's not required to, but they probably break into the vehicle anyways if they need to, I would guess. I will have a lawyer say no to that. Well, the warrant allows for us to have access to your vehicle. Okay. Which means they'd probably break into it if he didn't give them the code. That'd be my guess. Yeah, so you break in. Yeah, that's they'd fine. Break in. I'll yeah. give it up to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll draw it to the code. Um, Thank you. I don't even know the number. I know the... Um, would it help if you drew the keypad? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to draw the keypad? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the same way, so... I don't know how many buttons are, but it's the top, bottom, left, top, bottom, two. I believe it's that one, yeah, one, two, three. So one, it's two, straight, three, straight three, down, five. so one, two, three, then back to two, then down to five. Okay. Um, so it, they're just basically... It's so straight down. It like this? Are the buttons like this? Yeah, there's a few more down, but I don't touch those. The first three. One, two, three, up. One. So one, two, three. Then back to two and then three. Two and then this three. One. No, three. three. Okay. Okay, so one, two, three, two, three. Yeah, it okay. should be that one. Yeah. One, two, three, two, three. Okay. Wonderful. Um, and just um, for the warrant them that you see here, um, just verifying, of course, this is your name, this is your date of birth. Um, we recognize that you're approximately six foot four, you're not very tall. Um, and then we just use your approximate weight there. And um, I know you have approximately more six feet um, four. Um, Oof, she's nagging him. And just if you know your deal number, we can kind of verify that. Yeah. Um, as you see here, um, it does state here that we have premises as well to enter your home at 8621 Chaparral Way. Okay. Um, so we are going to attempt to do this in the quickest way possible and the way that it's obviously going to... This can't be an easy process. We recognize that. Yeah, um, and we don't... Yes. Okay. Um, is your mom at your house right now? She's not. No. Okay. Um, you're... Wife, she is at home. She is at home. Yes. Okay. Um, is it just your wife at home? Just my wife. Yeah. Okay. Um, and her name is. Okay. We won't be sending any black and whites over to the house. No. Okay. Just so that you can put you. Is it going to be tonight, right now? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, so um, we're going to do this kind of systematically. Um, the very first thing that we will do is, of course, the swab and the phone. Yeah. Um, do you have any other USB drives, anything know. like that on your yeah. person? I know sometimes for work we carry them around yeah, with us. No, I might have a USB in my locker, but that's just a work locker USB. Okay. Um, They're going to need so, that. So uh, we'll get that started. Okay. Um, and then after that, we know that your employers want to speak with you. Again, we are investigating allegations. So they yes. recognize that, but of course you know they have to take their action we can't speak to that um but of course um they obviously want the opportunity to speak with you yeah. um then of course we'll um process the locker and then process your vehicle okay um and again we'll do it systematically and as quickly as we can um, okay. to alleviate any additional stresses that this already is causing um and then we'll go ahead and go to your home and we hope to be in and out fairly quickly okay, okay. and my i'm Guess I'm staying here. I'm not going with you guys or anything like that. Um, so no, so, you are you are yeah. not in custody. You are not under arrest. You are not you even being detained. You can flee the state. That's why you had the right to stop speaking with us at any time. Um, there's no locks on the door. You had the, the opportunity yeah. to leave yeah. if you choose to. Um, and like I said, thank you for speaking to us as long yeah, as no you problem. did. Um, so if you have any questions, we are here. Sucka. If it's okay with you, I'm just going to grab my lab technician to start that. Okay. That's um, fine. And where is your cell phone on you? It's on my purse right now. Can we go ahead and set that somewhere? Go ahead and just give me that. You so you guys are going to keep my phone? Yeah. Yes. Do you have any other, um, as far as your phone, yes. We, airplane mode? Yes, for sure. Um, I don't want to break your phone, and sometimes when we access it without your code. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. 
don't know legal advice. My understanding is that police are authorized to take things like fingerprints from you. And if you have a fingerprint unlocked from your phone, they can use your fingerprint to get into it. However, if your phone is locked with a code, you are not obligated to give that code over because that counts as self-incrimination. So if you haven't used biometrics to lock your phone and it's locked by a code, you probably shouldn't give that code over voluntarily because I don't believe you could be compelled to by law enforcement. It could, I mean, who knows. Um, so is it possible for us to get your um, code? You guys would break my phone? No, I'm just saying they, they will get into it like hard eyes and I don't want to cause any damage to the phone if it's unnecessary. Look at how she's phrasing it. She's so gentle. Like, I don't want to break your phone. Like, they might when they're trying to get into it. You know, I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. You don't have my phone. I'd rather say no to that. No. Okay. I'll call a lawyer for this. That's oh. smart. Okay, swipe down so you can put it in your phone. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, this is like a battery case? Yeah, it's just an extra battery. Do you want to keep that? Does it come off pretty easily? Yeah, I can take it off for you. Oh, that's right. Is that an iPhone? Take it off? Yeah, it it's an iPhone. iPhone. What kind of iPhone is it? C10. The X. iPhone what? The X10. Is it the original or is the original it one X. in the, the original yeah, X? Because there's no need to take the, the battery And case. is it um, updated with the latest iOS, whatever it should be, yeah. Out? Everything should be updated. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay, so uh, do you have any questions as far as the warrant? Because I'm going to bring my lab technician in here so she can go no, ahead and guide you through it. I don't have any questions. Okay. And I'm going to keep the body warrant camera and everything. That's fine. Do you have any other phones, like a department issued cell phone or anything like that? No. Okay. Do you have any Hell yeah, we're grooving now. Oh yeah. I just got here, why are they so desperate to get off his phone? What are they so desperate? Oh, cause I know that they've got, he's got the secret 2B from Nier Automata, Kelly Jean cosplay photo set that was never released to the public. They're after it on his phone. She's working with us, so she'll assist in just gathering the swab. Okay. Get some pictures. So she just takes pictures so we know who the swabs are connected to. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, no more of that. That guy's tanking way too much. No, I just lost a building. These fucking bat flying things, fuck. And that's your copy. Check. Okay, thank you. Right, so um, like I mentioned, just obviously because um, we 
um, had a notify bill that we were coming in. We're just going to come in and chat with you. Yeah. Um, we'll kind of try and get everything started so we're not holding you up any longer okay. um, than need be. And, and we're able to get you um, at least to get out of here as soon as possible. So if you have any questions, we will be here. Don't hesitate to ask. Am I going to get um, like a card or anything? Yes. You guys I'll and I'll give you the case number as well. Okay. It's on, it should be yeah. somewhat listed on there, but sometimes it isn't on the warrant. So I'll okay. share. All right, so case number. And I know you indicated that you would want to speak with a lawyer, so you can yeah. give them my information. They can speak with me directly. Okay. Okay. All right, I will go ahead and let them in here. And then, um, like I said, we'll just do um, some follow up so you kind of know what our timeline is as okay. we kind of move it along. Fuck, that sucks. I'm going red. Okay. You're red? Yeah. I'm going to take a picture before you touch it. I'm get everybody to sway. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Up down, up down, what? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You've got to take pictures. Oh. All right. Okay. 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 That's how you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know where I used to work. Calm down. Yeah, two weeks with hey. that, that so, impatient. Do you have an R and I? Do you have an R and I? Um, anything. I happen to leave it in the truck. Not. I don't think I do. Um. Played Vandal Hearts? I don't think so. It sounds familiar. It sounds like an old game, is it? How hard would it be to retrieve stuff from his phone without this code? If it's an iPhone, I believe it's impossible right now to do that. Well, unless you can, like, guess your password or something. That, that yeah. Up down, up down. Up down, up down. Up down, up down, right. Apparently iPhone 10 and below can be broken into with a hardware bug. Oh, okay. Oh, up down, up down. I only want the towel mark. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Okay, um, yeah. I went up down off them. Right. Up. He trolled them. Up. Down. Right. I doubt that the FBI, CIA, or whomever don't have their tricks before any IT product is released to the public. Um. No, I think in general. Um, I don't think that the NSA or whatever have like a crack team of like zero day exploiters. They, they might be able to find some. I know there was that staging server one time where a couple zero days were stored, but in general, like these are, the whole world has a vested interest in trying to hack devices or whatever, right? This is gonna be stuff that everyone in the world is working on. I don't know if the US, there's any reason to believe that like intelligence agencies would have like a secret way to do this better than anybody else, you know? Um, but when it comes to things like weapons manufacturing, whatever, right? Like not everybody in the world can manufacture weapons or you know stuff like that. So you would expect that we would have a, a, an edge there. But for stuff like cybersecurity, I, I don't believe so. No, I don't think so. Look up celebrate. Private companies will do it. Yeah, that would be my guess. They'd outsource that work or something, right? Yeah, that would be my guess. How many is it yeah. Well, that's if they got the right. Like I'll try it. I'll do it. I I've never had right. this before. Right. Up. Down. Up. Down. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 Right
You actually have some of the best hackers in the world in your orgs. My understanding is because of, as stupid as it sounds, I've heard this repeated so many times. My understanding is because of like things like the marijuana policy, it actually keeps a lot of top talent out of federal agencies. That has been very, 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 very difficult for federal agencies to recruit people that specialize in cyber crimes and stuff. Like you can make deals with people if you catch them to make them work for you to avoid prosecution or whatever. But um, yeah. And pay, yeah, the pay probably sucks working for the government versus doing this stuff in the private sector too. I vaguely remember some like, I don't know if it's two seconds or... I had a number theory teacher that said that the NSA had numerical methods to factoring 60 digit numbers. Not sure how true that is. Nah, no shot. I'm not, here, like, okay, here, think about it this way, okay? So first thing we have to say is we all exist in, in a world where we have reasonable limitations on things, okay? We, we, all of us exist in a world where we, like, we, we're all humans, there's no alien technology, nothing crazy like that, okay? When we think of, so when we think of like, where is the government going to specialize? We're probably gonna think of things that are unique to the government that not everybody else in the world is working on, right? That's like the, that's the general feeling of things, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll start from that foundation. So when we ask ourselves, would we expect the government to have some crazy head start there? The question should be, is the government uniquely situated to work on this problem? Um, so let's say for instance, here's a question. Do we think that the government has the capability to produce like incredibly easily because of how many resources they have, the best pop song in the world, right? Well, let's think about it. The government doesn't really specialize in pop music, and there's a lot of other people all over the world that are producing pop songs. There's a whole industry um, related to pop music, right? There's a whole industry related to it. There's companies that churn this out, there's individual artists. The idea that the government could compete with them seems highly unlikely, probably not gonna be the case, right? Now, when it comes to things related to, say, like manufacturing tank shells, okay? Now, there's probably not a lot of companies in the world that are researching that. However, even in regards to that, we still use private companies that we outsource some of that work to, right? When it comes to things related to like cryptography, computers, um, cybersecurity, um, like actual like hardware security, these are things that every government, university, and private company all over the world have a vested interest in researching. So the idea that our government somehow has managed to get ahead of all these other industries where there's so much more money being dedicated to those resources is highly unlikely. What's more likely gonna happen would be if the government needs to break into a service here, the, the most efficient way to allocate resources would be the government would say, okay, well, who works on this? Oh, um, there's Cyber Hackers 101, this company. We're gonna go to them, we're gonna pay for their services, we're gonna outsource the work to them, and we're gonna work in some limited engagement, and they're gonna do it for us. Because that's where all the money is, those the resources. We like to think, in, in our mind, we like to think that like, oh, the government can do everything at all points in time because it's got infinite resources and their technology is 20 years ahead of us. That's just not true. The government might be a few years ahead in things that like the government itself can specialize in, but for the most part, the government is not gonna be beating private industry, right? Like think about like making atomic bombs and everything, okay? Even though my history sucks, right? I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. When the government wanted to make atomic bombs, it's not that the government was like, oh, well, we're the government. We've got the best resource in the world. We're gonna go ahead and make all the atomic bombs. No, they didn't. They had to go to universities. They had to go to other companies. They had to get all this talent from around the world. They said, we're drafting you in our program. Come here, share your knowledge, and we're gonna work on the, uh, the atomic bombs, right? It, it's, the government doesn't just magically have a five, 10, 20 year lead on all the technologies. It just, it just doesn't make, it just, it just can't be the case, right? It's just not possible, you know? Hey, all of this code, they're not like, like even as hard codes, they're not, they're buttons that don't have numbers. Yeah. All right, so try. I doubt it's gonna get much better, so. Do you guys have the same person building? Yeah, I think, uh, let's try to get it.
I would say that's a power that the government uniquely has to propel itself into the future tech-wise, though. Nah, I don't think so. Um, cryptography was pioneered by government agencies, though, because they had a wartime need. They might see that need today due to cyber espionage. Um, sure, but now cryptography is available to people all over the world. Everybody in the, in the world and math professors and universities all over the world. It's a very decentralized thing when it comes to, I mean, like, sure, you've got like your standard like RSA algorithms that everybody uses, but like cryptography is not exclusively in the domain of the government now. Companies all over the world are working on stuff like this. And there's no reason to think why our government would be able to beat all of them in terms of that technology, right? And even when you think about like the ways that the government catches people, right? I mean, here's like the obvious one. I, I mean, there's a couple obvious examples, right? The government is like on their hands and knees, like pleading. The FBI is like, Apple, please, please put a back door in your shit so we can crack people's phones. Please do this because we can't do it. Um, or if you look at how governments around the world catch um, certain criminals, usually it's through like malicious software, right? Like um, in Australia, there was that huge bust where a whole bunch of criminals were using a chat app that the government actually fucking made. And then these dipshits downloaded it, used it, and that's how they all got caught. Um, I think that was in conjunction with the FBI too, I think. Uh, I think it was FBI um, and the Australian government. But like, that's usually how they catch them. It's not like the government walks in and is like, I know it's on your phone. <laughs> we're the government, we've already cracked everything. We're in, we're in all your devices. Like, that's just not, that's just not the case, you know? I, I tried squeezing too, because a lot of times that happened. My best friend. YouTube or whatever. That work often. Yeah. Bro, I'm sleeping with this nerd shit. We get it through FBI, Apple means backdoor. We get it. You watch hacker shows. So does your mom. This weapon is in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll just wait till you guys are, you guys do your thing and I'll just take wherever it is here. So, okay. Pick her? Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Go, go. So, we'll go. There you go. Up, down, up, down, right, release. Cool. Still red. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fuck me, dude. Same with the deep web. The government made Tor, which is the browser usually used to do illegal things. The government made Tor. I don't even know if that makes sense. I don't know enough about Tor to tell you if that makes sense or not, but my understanding is Tor is is a, de it's not a thing you can make. It's a decentralized True collection base. of servers that people can use to access um, a hosted internet that's not accessible without going through like a Tor, um, without like a Tor entry point first. But I don't think you can, it was DARPA kind of. <clears throat> because like a, it's, it's like a, it, because technically, isn't Tor referring to like a collection of decentralized servers? DARPA made the protocol. Oh, okay, sure. They, they might have made the protocol that industry does it, but the government doesn't own all of the different servers that are involved in like Tor networking. Tor, the service is open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, dude, the hammer is a fucking banging weapon. Holy shit. Some schizos think that the fact that the military developed the protocol means all the dark web is like a honeypot. It can be. It is possible that if somebody is controlling the exit and entry nodes or whatever that you're using to access something on a Tor website, if somebody has access to both those nodes, I'm pretty sure they can figure out the traffic going through. So Tor is not a 100% safe and secure way of doing things. Except for when your mom uses it. Is this just the rest of the video? It's just them going through shit. Do we want to do that? Um. Please come. What if a whole stash of CP just fell? Oh shit, there's a dude here, so I didn't even see him.
This guy got giga fucked on charges. He had sex with six girls under 16, and the total charge was like 40 plus. Holy shit. He's a super pedophile. He's looking for young girls, then. Bro, why don't the bow shoot at the eggs? How cringe. He only got 12 years? Wait, no shot. The case involved four victims between the ages of 12 and 14. But prosecutors contend that Fleer contacted more than 40 others who described themselves as minors. Investigators were unable to track down these people to verify whether they were underage. Dep uh, Deputy District Attorney Jalen Wang said Fleer sought out young girls, offered them money in order to coax them into meeting with him, and encouraged the girls to arrange for their other young friends to meet him. Holy shit! The prosecutor said the victims became afraid when they discovered they met talking with a law enforcement officer. Fleer did not hide his profession and sent some of them pictures of himself in his uniform. I just looked this guy up and he had a Destiny GG account and it was on Team Pepe. <laughs> he pleaded guilty to 18 felony and two misdemeanor charges in June of 2021 and was sentenced to 12 years in state prison. Holy shit. It says the case involved four victims between the ages of 12 and 14. When they say victims, actually, I guess it depends. Is he sending pics of his dick to these kids or is he fucking them? That's what I'm curious. What, the, what were the felony charges? Sex acts with underage girls. Does that mean, um, does that mean it was some sort of sexual contact or is like, is nude, trading nude pictures a sex act? It listed the graphic charges. Court said on, on or about April 8th, Fleer unlawfully participated in an act of oral copulation with Jane Doe number one, a person under the age of 16. Oh, he's eating 12 year old box. What the fuck? Ugh. Bro. Ugh. Ugh. Yikes. He got 12 years. Jesus Christ. Do you think 12 years is low? I feel like this is an extra or an extraordinary set of fuck facts. Imagine you're a 12 or 13 year old. You get baited by a guy online to have sex with and then you find out he's a cop? What do you even do at that point? You can't, you're not gonna call the cops. He is a cop, right? That's like an extra special set of like, that's crazy.